We're back with Ed Rollins, Errol Lewis, and Hank Scheinkopf. Uh, let's look at some poll numbers on, on the two campaigns, and they're really interesting. They're very close. Um, the first one we have is with registered voters, and we see that Obama's at 47 percent, McCain at 44 percent, very tight. But then when you take it to likely voters, uh, we have a bit of a reversal, and we have McCain at 49 percent, Obama at 45 percent. Now, um, we were talking uh, in the uh, br commercial break about the McCain campaign and how many missteps they've made, and yet it's very, very tight. It's a very close race, and other polls have it even, even closer. I, I, I haven't seen many with McCain ahead, but it's a dead even race, and, and each candidate, I think, has their base, uh, 41, 42 percent on each side. They really haven't drawn the independents to one side or the other in a permanent way. The McCain campaign's problem is you have a candidate who's out there who's, a, who's very undisciplined, who wants to do what he wants to do each day, which is stand up and answer a bunch of questions. And he has some smart people who are trying to get him on a message consistent with the ads and everything else. And it's just they have an ad campaign, they have a consistent message, he has an inconsistent message. Uh, and I think to a certain extent the other campaigns running a brilliant campaign, still a dead even race. Should they be saying to him, stick to script? You can't stick to script. I mean, he just, he just can't. They tried to put him on a script. And some candidates just, and, and, and you don't change 70-plus-year-old men. Uh, you know, he's, he's, he's not tested, and he won't take the time to learn how to do a teleprompter and the kinds of things you need to do. Yeah, I mean, he literally won't stay on script. There have there've been a few segments that show him struggling with the teleprompter, you know, and, and he, he does like to sort of speak extemporaneously, and, and it's re really where he's most comfortable. So, you know, you, you get these trade-offs. You can have him look stick, stiff and awkward and trying to give the message of the day, or you can have him kind of freelancing. And, and as Ed says, there's some real drawbacks to that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is about war. People who do this business are warriors. When you get in the boxing ring, you open the cut, and you keep opening and opening until the other guy gets knocked down. McCain doesn't have it. And you get the sense in that campaign that somehow they suspect that this election will be moved to November 2009 or December 2008. It's not going to happen that way. There's no urgency. The things they're doing don't resonate. They can't get the public emotionally engaged. That is the difference here. Well, you know, the one way to get the public emotionally engaged is on the economy. And I think that we would all agree that this is one of the number one concerns for American voters. And yet you don't see very much being discussed about the economy. We have new uh, numbers out uh, on Friday. Unemployment reached a four-year high, 5.7 percent. Shouldn't the, the candidates be taking this on as the way to connect to voters? And isn't this the way to sort of look to the future also because it seems the most positive way you know, it's, and well it's real peculiar the the uh, for, for McCain is not his strength he's said it himself his strength is foreign policy he wants to sort of really uh, uh, pitch his campaign in that direction so it doesn't make sense for him to try and dive in and it doesn't make that much sense frankly for Obama because even though the Democrats sort of you know own a lot of these issues like Social Security and they have a, pr a pretty good program and they have a, a consistent position on uh, um, rolling back the tax cuts and so forth. Um, he's really trying to run on this symbolic level about hope and about change and so when if he gets down into sort of going down this menu, this checklist of, of policy options which people may or may not like, he starts to sound like Hillary Clinton who he defeated. So. I don't think we're going to get that much talk. It's going to be up to the press, I think, to force these issues uh, onto the agenda. But it seems that the Clinton campaign, one of the successes, was to connect to two people on this level. Well, the, the, the difference is, one is running on charm. I'm charming, I'm different, I'm, I'm for change. Uh, the other is I'm courageous, I'm tough, I'll make the tough decisions. Neither of them have the vision. What the country's looking for desperately is a vision. Who has a plan to help move us out of this, this game? And the problem is neither can put forth an economic plan that doesn't basically alienate some particular political base. And I think they're both afraid of it. Mm -hmm. Government, government by poll and campaign by poll generally have the same results. Stagnation. All right. Thank you very much, gentlemen. We Great. sorted that out. Ed Rollins, Hank Scheinkopf, Errol Lewis. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Please join us tomorrow, and remember to join Lou on the.